What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Tagliafico's team of the season. He is a 90 rated card coming in at a whopping 135, but he is about 140 at the moment on the market. He is obviously three star skill, a two star weak foot, left footed, high, high work rates. He is only 5'8 as well. Obviously this card would have been through the roof if them glasses that he's got on the dynamic was on the actual car, on the actual person as well. But unfortunately we aren't in that sort of area yet. We have whacked an anchor on him in terms of footbin stats gives him 99 pace 98 defending and 92 physical turning him into a 97 left back that is insane he's got power header team player and a solid player as his traits and honestly he looks fantastic for a 90 rated card if it wasn't for the fact to have roberto carlos's prime he genuinely could have got in to be honest 97 overall is insane like that is genuinely unreal i think there's only probably one or two players in my entire club that have that sort of overall and i think kdb is one of them for the fact that he is like 96 already um in it just insane very very insane everything's practically 99 from it you've got 90 strength 96 aggression from it you've got 93 stamina 99 jumping 99 standing and sliding with 98 defensive awareness and head and accuracy and 96 interceptions obviously he is uh, when he goes to 10 out of uh, 10 in terms of player chemistry he's on nine at the moment because i've obviously purchased him and the manager doesn't fit but in terms of everything else crossing is brilliant short pass is amazing long pass not as much but again we will see how that goes and just see if that may be one of the weaknesses other than that you kind of have to nitpick with him the four star weak foot the four star skill moves and probably the long pass, they're the only things that look not even wrong, but not, not as high as they could be. Let's jump straight into him. I'm very interested to see how he is down the wing. Tagliafico watching Gomez already. It's going to be very interesting to see how well he does. I want to use him as that kind of, not necessarily overlap person, but I want to see passing wise what he's going to do he's got i think kevin de bruyne sitting in that camera roll in front of him i do need to change over javinho though into tag what can we see and literally it is uh, all it was is if them glasses were in this uh player image now genuinely this card probably would be extinct imagine a blue haired mbappe team of the year tagliafico sees off gomez Oh, trying too much with him. Need to remember, he's not a winger. He is still a defender. Tagliafico watching Gomez. Does manage to pass round him, but that's okay. This has not really gone anywhere anywhere just yet. I think Edouard is offside. Maybe. Yeah, no, maybe. Back into tag. You can see Kevin. I think he was offside at that point, though. Tag takes it off Edouard. Oh, and again, he takes it off him, but doesn't manage to. Genuinely thought that was going over the keeper then. I was thinking the keeper was literally on his line. Into tag. He's going to see it down the wing. We're going to go 1-2 with Saar. Gets him in. It's very basic, but he loves it. Pulls it back. And Javinho, what are you doing, son? That's got to be a goal. Tag down the line. See Saar. It's a lovely weighted ball. Tag down the line. Going to go with a little 1-2 with Mane. Finds himself in. No one in the box, though. Gives the delivery. Saar is going to go for the header, but the keeper just gets there before him. Lovely crossing from Tag, though, so far. Tag with a beautiful tackle. Just stops him from going anywhere there. Over to Tag. See De Bruyne in. Go back to him again. And the best thing about him is he is a very, very good person to push forward, as we can see. And obviously, because of the rating and normally as people percept him, they will follow him as well, which is always nice. We're going to whip this ball in. It's a cracking cross. Bruno goes for the header. Gets ourselves a corner. And we are going to put tag on it. Forgot to put him on the default set of it. Obviously, left-footed. Going to swing this one in. We're going to pretend to run with him. That's a cracking ball. Keepers out. Cantona nearly with that one, though. Tag watching Deco here. Surprised he's got Deco on this right mid. I don't think he's really going to do it. We knew he was not going to try and go for a foot race with Tag, so that's lovely stuff himself. Defender's going to have to come and try and get Tag. Oh, that's poor from De Bruyne. That passing should be exquisite. 
I'm really shocked that he is putting De uh, Deco there. I really think that he's going to have to change that in the second half. Otherwise, he's not going to go down that side. I just don't see Deco going against Tag and winning any sort of race strength battle or even just being able to get past him without me really messing up on the tackle. Tag seeing it out. Get the little pass into De Bruyne. Love how much he does push. If you are very much an attacking fullback kind of person, Tag is going to be absolutely perfect as we find him through. Can he pull it back? Oh, beautiful. And that is exactly what this guy can do. The attacking style of him is very, very nice. Obviously, he's already got the defensive ability, the pace, the dribbling, the passing all comes together and again we are going to have a lot of players that are very much like this um, pretty much most leagues will have the best left back right back and it will then also kind of just matter of how your team is set up does it link does it does it play well it, it all depends on what your preference is as a player whereas if they've got every single stat you can't really complain at it at all we do find him in again go on give a hit and every now and then he may be able to get that. May be able to get that goal. Tag watching Clark Harris with absolute ease. Hey, and I think we are finished for this next match. Started off very, very rocky, but we managed to come through and absolutely get that dub. Into tag again. I find that ball into De Bruyne, probably a little bit high hopes there, but De Bruyne does manage to win it back, and again, we try and go for it. De Bruyne is not letting him go anywhere without it. Can we cross that ball in at the very least? We get all that way, and we don't manage to even get the ball in, and you can see their tag running a very, very high kind of uh, attacking fullback sort of style. Going to whip a ball in from tag, bringing his keeper out, so we're going to have to go a little bit further out than wanted. No, it's not going to work like that. As soon as you bring your keeper out, maybe we do go for the chance and go for the opportunity of shooting with it. Or we just kind of maybe play it safe, bring the ball actually, and play it to the feet instead. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful first opener. Over to Tag again. It is very difficult to try and kind of keep reviewing left backs and right backs because there is only so much they can do. Obviously, we have kind of shown what he's like in a little bit of defensive duties. Obviously, he's kind of uh, assist play with the his partner in crime is kind of a po no is uh, his left mid basically or his cam does win the ball back and he does play like I say he does play a very very high line. As we get that one in, and I think that is free for free for Tag. So going into the overall for Tagliafico then, he's dropped down to 130 as we can see, 150 on the PlayStation and 190 on PC. In terms of generations, then we did get a 93 team of the season last year. The year before it was a 92. Then we got a Path to Glory, I think that is, and as well an 88 team of the season to start his career. He is 28 years old, so he's not necessarily passed it at all yet. He's doing well for Ajax, obviously last year in form. Man of the match as such for the team of the group stage, headliner and team of the season. This year it's just team of the season. He's come out straight with the community and obviously he's pretty decent. He's I think he's now dropped quite a bit in consider, uh, considering what he was uh, Saturday. Or in fact, I think he may have just been over 200 then to be honest. It might have just been day of release that he was more expensive probably because he was a 90 rated obviously people love the dynamic that is just naturally how it works and obviously you do want the anchor on honestly fantastic overalls like genuinely the stats on the defensive Dewey is incredible like I say his dribbling is brilliant obviously he's got the three star skills would like a four on both if possible four star on the weak foot at the very minimum if I could and then the long pass I didn't really notice too much of a difference to be honest he, he pretty much passed it nicely every time as long as you're not over complicating and probably going across pitch he's absolutely fine every time he's got very very um overlapping skills even with a stay back whilst attack he does push forward quite a lot so that's always something to just bear in mind if you are necessarily not the greatest defender maybe you like your defenders in the same position then maybe you want to just take a look at him and just see if he is the right fit for you as i did notice that he was running quite a lot but i do tend to do the one two ball so it's when you lb and a um, i don't know what it is for playstation but it's basically the one two so he passes it and then he makes the run forward then obviously you pass it again that could trigger him coming forward but there was times where I was unsure if he's just 
magically got up there himself and obviously helping out the attack if we're in the kind of last third of the game. But other than that, he managed to get three wins in a row. Very, very happy. Foot champs didn't really let too many people pass at the very minimum as well. Everyone kind of just avoiding him. So fantastic player. I really can't get over the overall, like the, the actual stats. We're going to see plenty of players like this, like I said, but He's the start. He's the start of this kind of whole new wave of cards. Hopefully, do enjoy the videos. I'm going to give him a 9.7 out of 10. I feel like Roberto Carlos Prime Moment will be my only 10 at the moment as a left back. But we will see, and I'm hoping that is changing very, very soon. But after that, make sure you like and subscribe. Definitely worth the money if you can link him. Peace.